SPSI's new N1000 system is the ideal solution for a small to medium matrix switch installation, such as a boardroom, conference room, uh, maybe a small sports bar type of installation. Like all SPSI, it is a networked AV product, so it uses IP as the transport system. In fact, Gigabit Ethernet is really the original five-play solution. Gigabit Ethernet can carry power, control, network, and of course audio and video over a single Cat5 cable. The system comprises encoders and decoders. Let's look at the encoder. The encoder has a DVI-I input. So this can accommodate both RGB, VGA, analog video, or digital video, DVI-D or HDMI. In fact, by using an adapter cable or Y cable, such as this one here, you can accommodate both digital and analog to the encoder and the system will auto sense which one is connected. We also have RS-232, IR, audio and a PoE network port. You also have the option for external power. The decoders have a digital only DVID output to the display, but similarly audio output analog, of course we also carry audio over the digital if it's an embedded audio track, and also RS-232 and IR, and again a PoE network port. Let's hook it up. Connecting the network cables back to the switch for connectivity and power. I'm connecting RS-232 to the display so we can control the display and of course connecting DVI-D to the output for the display and I'm going to connect my splitter cable to the input for connection to my laptop or other source. You'll notice when we connected the decoder to the display that we got a splash screen. This is a JPEG or other still image format file that can be uploaded over the network to the decoder. This is easily replaced by the end user and for example could be used to show a meeting room schedule when the conference room is not in use or other information such as a help desk number or instructions on how to connect and start your conference. A very unique and very powerful feature of SVSI's N1000 system is to provide for a controllerless control system. Let me explain what I mean by that. By detecting an event such as plugging your laptop into the input of the encoder, we can trigger a command, a control command, sent over the network for example, to the decoder's RS-232 port. This command can be, turn the display on. So as soon as you connect your laptop, the display will automatically turn on. This automated command set can also be a script, multiple commands. For example, you could send a command to the projector to turn on, you could send a TCP IP command to a IP to switch closure third party device to lower the screen in the conference room. Similarly, you could do set up lighting uh, for a specific environment. And that is completely automatic. It's done by detecting the input status to the encoder and then generate Let me demonstrate these commands. the status event control in a real life application. I have an N1000 encoder, N1000 decoder, decoder to my display with an RS-232 connection. And now HDMI in from my laptop to the encoder. As soon as I connect the HDMI to the laptop, the encoder recognizes the active connection and sends a command over the network to the RS-232 port 
on the decoder to turn the display on. Now I'm ready for my presentation. When the presentation is over, simply disconnecting HDMI or VGA as we mentioned earlier, disconnecting the video source to the encoder does the reverse. It recognizes that change in status and automatically turns the display off. Think of what this means in a simple boardroom, conference room type of uh, install. No active controllers, no iPads, no touch screens, simply a recognition of an event, plugging the laptop in, turning on a video camera, can generate multiple commands in a script that could lower the projection screen, turn on the projector, dim the lighting, and direct the specific uh, encoder to a specific uh, display.